starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. Wow. It's a cardinal. See it, Lassie? Lassie? Where are you, girl? Lassie, come here. I'll quit hiding. Lassie! Lassie, come here, girl. So what do you want to be? A bird watcher or a rabbit chaser, girl? Make up your mind. Congratulations, girl. You probably spotted the first bluebird in Calverton this year. Wow. I wonder what he's doing, just flying around that tree. Come on, girl. Let's find out. Here. Hi, Bluebird. Sorry, Mrs. Bluebird. The least we can do for it now is, is bury them. Timmy, dear. Come on, now. You've got to stop brooding about it. Nature's full of such tragedies. Mom, those are bluebirds. Bluebirds are sort of special. Like it says in the fairy tales. Bluebirds are supposed to bring happiness. Isn't that true, Mom? Well, it's a lovely thought. And bluebirds do make farmers happy, Timmy. And that's no fairy tale. They eat the weevils and other insects that destroy our crops. I wonder why there's so few around anymore. Well, you see, they're faced with a housing shortage. Unless something is done about it, their whole species might disappear. A housing shortage? For bluebirds? You mean that bluebird that Lassie found might not find another home to live in? Probably not the kind that she's used to nesting in. You see, Timmy, the nature of the bluebird is to nest in dead trees or in the holes of old-fashioned wooden fence posts. Well, today we're cutting down all the dead trees to make room for new, healthy ones. And we're replacing the old fence posts with sturdier, modern ones. It's a pity, but 
What's good for the farmer will mean extinction for bluebirds. Isn't there something we can do for them? Well, I don't know. There's the Audubon Society. Well, they probably have the information for you. Why don't you write? You could ask them. That's a great idea, Mom. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> don't you think I should have some good stationery for this important letter? Absolutely. There you are. Our motto. A bird in the hand is worth etc., etc., etc. Thanks, Mom. like the one on the instruction sheet. Guess we're pretty good carpenters. With a little help from the Audubon Society. Let's see. Ventilation space at the top. Drainage hole at the bottom. Cover. Entrance hole. And perch. Guess that does it. Well, now all we have to do is see if any birds move in. You carry the hammer, girl. Lassie, you should know better. That's too low. A snake or a lizard could crawl into this. You know how they like to eat bird's eggs. Well, birdhouses up in two weeks and not... And not one vacancy. And nine eggs already. Oh, I'd call that a record. Business is booming, Mom. <laughs> Everywhere except where Lassie and I want it most. All the other bird families have eggs, except Lassie's mother, Bluebird. Oh, well, now give Lassie's Bluebird a chance. After all, spring has just begun. But her baby's died. Maybe she's too sad to try again. I don't know. If I remember my bird lore correctly, a mother bluebird can lay as many as five clutches of eggs in a season. Wish I could explain that to Lassie. By the way, where is Lassie? At her bluebird house, of course. <laughs> she inspects it about six times a day. She just won't give up. And by the way, I better go and check some of the other bird tenants. Bye, Mom. Bye-bye, dear.
floor. What in thunder is going on here? See for yourself. You made top score, Mr. Watts. Aren't you proud to be a grandfather of quadruplets? Grandfather? I'm a bachelor. Come on, girl. You bet it's serious, Les. What time is the meeting? Right. You want me to pick up the man from the Department of Agriculture at the depot? Okay. Now I'll see you there. Well, what is it? Well... nothing I can do, Timmy. Les Sims just called me to say that the whole area has been invaded by flocks of starlings. Starlings? Yes. The most destructive birds ever created. This hour, Timmy. Um, I don't know. I just wanted a glass of milk. Okay, I'll join you as long as you're up. What did they decide to do about the starlings? Well, Timmy, it seems there's only one sure way to drive out the starlings. What's that? Dynamite. Dynamite? Mm hmm. I'm afraid it's the only way. But what about the bluebirds? I'm sorry about the bluebirds, Timmy, but those starlings are a menace. Did you know that all over the country, people have been trying to get rid of starlings with noisemakers and bright, shiny objects and various other ways? And so far, dynamite has been the most successful. But, but dynamite will break the bluebird eggs and shatter their homes. Yeah, I know, son. Sometimes, when it's necessary to drive out an evil, something good may have to be sacrificed. It's sad, but it can't be helped. You know, using dynamite is pretty risky, but none of us farmers can afford the even greater risk of losing our crops. Try to understand, Timmy. We have no other choice. Get Bessie into the barn, Timmy. You better gather up the chickens and get them in there, too. I don't want any livestock running around when these go off. 
how many of them are you going to use? Oh, about a dozen or so. The farmers decided at the meeting to plant the dynamite all over the Calverton area, and the blast would go off at approximately the same time. I better get Lassie. Yeah, you get Lassie and put her right in the house. I'll get Bessie for him and round up the chickens. The bluebird picked the horn of plenty for her nest. I bet Lassie followed her here. After the starlings chased the bluebird out of the bird house. And it was one of George Watts' sticks of dynamite that she was carrying. Oh, Lassie. I wouldn't be surprised if that were the largest clutch of bluebird eggs on record. And Lassie made it possible. Not another house. That's right. Do you know the bluebird population is booming? See? Who knows? You might be a grandfather again. And this time it might be...
and chocolates. So long, Mr. Watts. Come on, girl. Bye. Right. 